Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching here Mr. Easy and welcome back to a new video for A level for the medicine today. We have 2.5 for the regions in the Argon diagram for the rules and examples video. And we'll get started with low cap, but before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification button so you never send in any future videos. And we'll get started with loci. So you can use complex numbers to represent regions on an argon diagram. And in our last few lessons, we looked into loci. And this lesson is basically about shading the regions. So like we looked into loci on, on the argon diagram last lesson, and we're building on it. So we can use inequality symbols to represent regions. So we have this less than or equal to sign, and this bigger than or equal to sign, and they represent um, the regions, and we use solid lines to represent them. For example, we have uh, these right here. These are less than symbol, and there's no less than or equal to. And if we were to use less than or equal to, we would use solid line like this, a solid line. But in this case, it's just less than, and if it's less than or greater than sign, we use dotted lines which basically I showed it right here, where, sorry, where we use dotted line in this case right here, a dotted line. So we have to look carefully at what region to shade. So for example, we have this low carrot here, and we can see that it's less than, right? If it's less than, that means that it's the region that has a distance of less than two from the center, which is minus one, minus one. So basically it is this region right here inside the whole, um, whole circle. But if this region were to be, um, let's say, let me just rub this out. If this region were to say z plus 1 plus i is greater than 2, then instead of shading the region in the center, like this circle right here, you would shade any other, set, any other point. So I have basically wrote it right here. If it's greater than 2, you basically shade any other region but the region in the center. Because the region in the center and the region touching it is less than. Two. So here we have some examples. So on separate argon diagrams, shaving the region represented by these three uh, log right characters here. So we'll start with the first one. Z is less, uh, Z minus four minus two y is less than or equal to two. So we first have to sort out what uh, where the center point is. So we know the center point. We can basically rearrange this to get Z minus a bracket four plus two i. And by doing so, we can read the center point straight away because the center point is just 4, 2. So the center is at 4, 2. And the radius is 2, the radius of a circle. The radius is 2, right? So let's just draw an R axis right here. The, the real axis and the imaginary axis. So I am Z and R E Z. So we can now just plot the center point 4, 2. So I would say it's around 4 is here and 2 is here. So 4, 2, right? So, so we know that the circle has a radius of 2. And we know that this point here is 2. That means the circle will just touch the real axis like so, right? Because this has a radius of 2. And this has a radius of 2. That means this point here will be 2. And it's not to scale. So let me just draw it up. So it will be like this. And let me just move it slightly. Like so. And we can see that this point here is 2. And notice how I use solid lines because the symbol is less than or equal to. So to shade the region, I will just use um, an, a highlighter. And I'll just shade this. Oops. I'll just shade this region in the center right here. Like so. And moving on to the next question, we have this uh, z minus 4 is less than z minus 6. So we know that z minus 4 represents the uh, x equals 4 because there's no imaginary attached to it, so it's not on the imaginary axis, it's on the real axis, x equals 4, and x equals 6. So we know that loci is basically a set of points which are equidistant to both of the expression. That's alright? So just think of a number or like a line that is equidistant to both x equals 4 and x equals 6. And since x equals 4 and x equals 6 are both a vertical line, like it could be like x equals 4 and x equals 6, that means the loci will be between them, uh, vertically between them. That means the loci will be at x equals 5. 
because any point along this line x equals 5 is equidistant to both x equals 4 and x equals 6. Like so, right? It's all equidistant. That means we have to draw a line at x equals 5. But we have to use dotted line because this is just a lesson symbol. So we'll use dotted line like so, dotted line like so. So we now have to determine which region to shade. So we can see that uh, from this expression right here, the value of z minus 4 is, um, the, z, the value of the modulus of z minus 4 is, uh, is less than the value of the modulus of z minus 6. That means all the points in the region that has to satisfy this equation must be closer to 4, 0 than 4, sorry, than 6, 0. So let's say, let's choose a point like, let's say this point here. Is it closer to 6, 0 or is it closer to 4, 0? It's closer to 6, 0, right? That means it's wrong because we need, a, we need a set of points that are closer to 4, 0 than 6, 0. So let's just consider like this point right here. Is it closer to 4, 0 or closer to 6, 0? The answer is closer to 4, 0. That means it's the right set of points. That means the region is to the left of the loci. So this would be the region to shade, the region. So like this, just shade up to the dotted line. Like so. And for the third part, shade the region represented by 0 is less than or equal to r z minus 2 minus 2i is less than or equal to pi over 4. So we know we have to determine what angle this is. So we know pi is equal to 180 degree, that means pi over 4 is 180 degree minus uh, so divided by 4, which is equal to 45 degree. So let me just state that down, 45 degree. And we know that this, we can just uh, rearrange it to find the center. So r of z minus 2 plus 2i, like so, right? So we know the center is at 2, 2, and the two half lines are at 0 and at 45 degree. So let me just plot the argon diagram, like so. And this, oops. And vertical, the real, oops, the real axis. So the, so the imaginary, not the real. Imaginary and the real axis. So we know the center is at 2, 2. So let me just plot 2, 2. Let's say this is 2 and this is 2. So this will be 2, 2, right? So we know that the first half line is where it's, um, it's at 0 degree. And the second half line is where it goes up to 45 degree. So let's choose this as 45 degree. And just label this as pi over 4. Pi over 4. And we tend to use pi, uh, the radians, for angles now. So pi over 4. So we can see that the region is basically between 0 degree and between pi over 4 degree. So if we were to choose like this point right here, it is not between 0 and, 4, and pi over 4 degree. But let's say if we were to choose this between these regions right here, it satisfies the equation, the, the loci. So therefore, this is a region that we should be shading. Oops. So let me just um, tone it down. Like so, yep. Yeah. So this will be the region and it will be to infinity. I'll just shade like so. And so. And moving on to the last part, we have hence on the same argon diagram, shade the region which satisfy all three loci that we showed what they saw that we saw just now. So here are just some set notations, and this basically represents intersection in the set notation. So what I'll do now is that I'll just quickly sketch the loci from just now and I'll just combine everything together. So I'll just talk through it. So imaginary and the uh, real axis. So let's just put the first one. It's centered at 4, 2. So let's say 2, 4, and 2. 2, 4, and 2. And the center is here. That means the first loci will look something like this. Let me just uh, make it smaller. Like so, yeah, 2, 4, right? The second loci is where x equals 4, uh, z minus 4, the modulus of z minus 4 is less than the modulus of z minus 6. So we know that this is 6. That means this is 5. So let me just show our dotted line at 5. Like so. And the last loci is where arc of this is the arc, the arc of z minus 2 minus 2y is between 0 angle and pi over 4 angle. And I should probably change this point right here because, because um, the circle here should be 2, 2. Because you know that it's centered at 4 and the radius is 2. 
that means this should be 2. And we know that the, the last loci start at 2, 2, so this last loci will start at this point here. And 0 degree is like this, and 45 degree will basically cut it at this point here, where it's at 4, 4, like so. So now we have to just shade all the regions. So let's consider the first region. The first region is where the whole the loci, the circle, is less than 2. That means it's all of these regions right here. But this is not the region because we have to consider other regions as well. So now let's consider the second region. It's this one right here, right? And from just now, we saw that the region is basically from 5 all the way to the left. 5 to the left, right? So let's see the 5 here. And it's all the way to the left. That means to know that the, 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 the possible regions are this one right here. And not the points toward the over 5, right? But this is not the region because we have to look at the last region as well. So the last region is where the angle is between 0 and pi over 4. And it is this region right here, right? This whole region. Right? Therefore, we can combine everything to shade the final region of this region right here. Because you can see, this region satisfies the last equation, where the angle is between 0 and pi over 4. That's correct, right? And the second region is where it's less than 5, which is like this. And the, third, and the first region, which is inside the circle, which is completely inside the circle. So therefore, the region, oops, I think I just brought it out just now. And the region right here is the region to shade. And that's the final answer. And that's it for the short video for 2.5 for the regions in the argon diagram for the rules in the sign of this video. And I hope you will find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification button and let me know on any future videos. If you have any questions or comments regarding my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it on your browser at www.emiseasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be 2.5 for regions in the Argon diagram for the questions video, which will be the last lesson for topic 2. And in our next two videos, we will move on to section 3, or topic 3, which is series, which is interesting. But I hope you'll find it useful and helpful, and I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, stay safe, and happy learning.